Hello, everyone. Um, so let's talk about languages. Few people know that Switzerland has four official languages. German, Italian, French, and Romance. And unfortunately, the latter is a dying language. And to do something against this, I decided to translate WordPress into Romance. And I don't even speak the language. And that's what I'm going to talk about today. First of all, I want to give you some background about the language so you know like, um, what, it's it, what it is about. Um, so as the name implies, um, Romance is a Romance language. Um, as such, it shares similarities like with French, Italian, Spanish, and so on. Or, as one guy said it on YouTube, Romance sounds like a German had a one-night stand with vulgar Latin, and this was the result. With a population of around 8.5 million people, um, an estimated 50,000 to 100,000 people um, in Switzerland speak Romance. And it's even classified as an endangered language by UNICEF. As it's mostly spoken in a few parts of Switzerland, you don't hear it every day. Yet, many official government documents and websites are written in Romance because it's mandatory. And because it's an official language, there's even a radio and TV station, um, and the daily newspaper even. There's also a Roman um, hip-hop group called Lyrica Sanalas, and you could loosely translate this to like explicit lyrics, and even though they're speaking and, and singing and, and rapping in, in Romance, people, like, they like their music, and it's really, uh, it's not like excluded. So now you know a bit more about Romance. And, but how did I end up translating it? So about two years ago, um, I started to wonder what it would be like if WordPress was available in Romance. I think it was um, around um, Global Translation Day or like Work in Europe even. And I, I wondered if I could help preserve the language by translating WordPress into Romance. So given that many government websites need to be available in Romance, I figured having the most popular CMS out there being available in that language would uh, help it. However, it's not an easy task. So basically, every region where Romance is spoken, they have their own idiom, like their own dialect of the language. There's, there's no like one Romance. Um, but 20 or 30 years ago, um, people tried to, to solve this. And they created something called Romance Grishun, which is like one unified language. And it's an attempt for a unified written language, actually. So it's, um, it's not spoken. And, but it should help preserve the language, um, because you don't have anything that's split into multiple idioms, which only a few thousand people speak. And people could just learn Romance Grishun in school. And however, it's still a bit controversial among people. And because it's only a written language, even native speakers, um, they have to use a dictionary to write proper Romance Grishun. And it's a dictionary that allowed me to translate WordPress into Romance. Last year, I finally decided to, like, let's do it. Let's create a Romance translation for WordPress. So after doing some research and reading through the Polyglots Handbook, I eventually got access to a brand new local site for Romance. It was a really cool moment and an important milestone for the project because now we had one page where we could share all the information about WordPress in Romance and how to translate it. And it got me really excited to um, continue with that. And the problem is I just needed someone to do, to do the actual translation. So first, I reached out to a fellow student of mine uh, who speaks Romance. He quickly showed interest, but he was really busy at the time and couldn't really help with that. But his father was recently retired and was in need of a new hobby. Luckily, the WordPress translation platform allowed me to export a list of all the, the strings in WordPress together with the German translations. And this enabled my friend's dad to write the Romance translations whenever he felt like it, and we would just 
like import and new translations on translate.wordpress.org, and we got some progress. Even better was the moment uh, when I found out I'm not the only one interested in translating software into Romansh. In fact, a group of young people have been uh, maintaining the Romansh translation of Mozilla Firefox for about 10 years now. And the main re reason is it's because it's open source. And they also maintain language packs for uh, Thunderbird and even Microsoft Office, which I think is pretty impressive. And guess what their website runs on? It's WordPress. So of course, when I reached out to them, they were um, immediately interested in the idea of translating WordPress into Romance. And they were all ears and like on board immediately. And before I even introduced them the translation platform and the, the local site, the one guy already created an account on WordPress.org and translated hundreds of strings in one day. Um, yeah, I was definitely impressed by that. So today, the Romans translation is already at about 40% complete. And we managed to do this in only a few months' time. And I'm confident that we can get this to 100% soon. So how does the future of the Romans translation look like? Obviously, we want to keep momentum and complete the Romans translation of WordPress as soon as possible. And when, when I chatted with the others, we decided uh, on some sorts of strategy for that. So first of all, we thought about like um, doing some kind of hackathon over a weekend, like lock ourselves in and just do some translation. Maybe I can even like learn to, uh, to speak the language. And another part is reaching out to, to government agencies and, and local foundations, which try to preserve the language and to see how we can benefit from each other. Because it's really difficult um, when you need to, like, when you try to translate WordPress into Romance with all the, like, the technical terms, you have to invent new words in, in a dying language. Um, yeah, and I think I um, can definitely uh, manage to, to get this done soon and ab absolutely um, achieve something great in the end. I hope you like this short introduction to. Uh, Romans and how WordPress can help preserve the language. Thank you very much.